Oh, weird way to start. <laughs> but we've already established we're crazy here on Fire Science, right? So what I wanted to talk about, we've already done a video, bang, 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 on turning in Wing Chun. Boom, why you turn and why you do a turning punch. Bang, shift your weight like this. There's a number of reasons. Structurally is the first one. So structurally, when I turn and I punch, what essentially I'm doing is I'm lining up the knuckles with the elbow. You're, not, you're keeping the elbow, the shoulder down, but there's another reason for that at another time, with the hip and the knee, and obviously the ankle. So it's, it's basically unison of all the major joints in the body. So when you're shifting from a point of view of structure and striking, any pressure that's coming back into me is going straight into the arm, straight into the leg. So essentially, lean on me a little bit, bang, boom, you feel that. Yeah. Okay, so with my foot off the floor, you can see how I can take a little bit of pressure. Obviously, if he's charging at me, he's going to push me over. It's going to be a completely different kettle of fish. But what you're, le what you're learning to do, and I nearly got all my L's mixed up there, is lining up all your joints. And the most important thing is the major joints, as I was saying. Now, when I spoke about the last videos, one of the points I was saying is that the turning punch or turning is a great defensive movement. Because as you're turning, what you're learning to do is to displace any pressure on your body. So if someone's pushing you, you're turning your torso, and if they're pushing with two hands, okay, you can turn and displace the arm. But the most important thing, again, is that if he's pushing you, you can feel the direction and absorb, if you like, the, uh, the pressure. The point of the two arms, by the way, is that if he's pushing me, I can turn and grab, or I can turn and redirect and just get rid of the arms. The way that we train it quite often is with our feet in a neutral position because it's easier to turn, but the reality, and this is the point, is that you'd always have to have a leg forward. So if George puts a left leg forward, if he throws a punch at me, my turning punch now looks like this. So if you punch, bang, the same punch, boom, looks like a, a liver punch that you'd do in any other fighting style. It becomes, bang, a direct, deliberate movement where I'm hitting in towards, can you feel it, into, yeah, yeah. The, liver, into the liver? But it's straight and it's forward. I keep this hand here, I'm not so stylized now, because obviously the punch, and as I've spoken about spaces before and defending it, I want to be able to defend against that. So essentially here, it allows me to intercept. So the turning punch starts to give me angles. So for a student learning or starting to practice this style, Wing Chun that, that is, is that what you're learning to do is to step out, bang, turn and hit, or turn and hit the head, or turn and hit underneath. But either way, boom, as you're hitting, okay, you're priming this hand so when he punches the next one, bang, to intercept clearly through the center, bang. So good ways to use turning punch. Interceptions, Obviously this way, if he punches a straight one that way, this way is a nice way to use it. So you'll use the turning punch and hit this way down the line. If he punches this one, the same again straight, you can step out, turn and punch over the top. That works quite well, but sometimes if the guy again is quite high or taller than you, it might make sense to hit the body. It's difficult under the camera. <laughs> okay, bang, or under from underneath, or there's an uppercut. Uh, another way, as I was saying earlier, is to use it to laugh and to displace the person. So you can actually turn, laugh, cover, hit, and flow with your attacks as you often see me doing anyway in, in a lot of our videos. The key point of what I'm trying to get across in this video is the body shape and the way that you rotate your torso. So you blade, but as you're blading, essentially what you're doing, bang, is hitting. So the hit and the strike and the movements come from your ability to control, bang, and turn. Great if you're taking the offense. Obviously, if the person's coming with lots and lots of swinging punches, it's a completely different idea. You're probably covering up, sticking, then using your turn, okay, bang, to wrap the guy, turn him, keep him off balance and hit him and strike him. Different kettle of fish, but what I'm just trying to show you is a very simple idea of angling your body, blading and striking. Thanks for watching. If you like any of our videos, subscribe.